And there they go. Tracy's girl is hustled out to the lead. La Rubia is up close. Empire Trolley strides into the second spot. La Cafetera fourth from the inside. Then Super 27 and Stay Home Mama is the last of six. And the big long shot, Tracy's girl makes the pace. La Cafetera wants to go, climbing on the heels of Tracy's girl. Tracy's girl two links, La Rubia second. La Cafetera has been eager throughout. Now she gets into the second spot from the rail. Empire Trolley settles off the pace in fourth, little less than five off the lead. Half a length to stay home, Mama. Another length and a half back to Super 27. 24 and two fifths. Tracy's girl and Rafael Rojita Jr. A length to La Cafetera. La Ruby is third, three, three and a half off the lead. A length back to Empire Trolley and stay home, Mama. Another two and a half to Super 27 at the tail of the field. 49 seconds. Tracy's girl, 28 to 1 on the board. She opens up heading into the turn. It's three lengths to La Cafetera. Here's Empire Trolley now making her move from third. La Rubia's fourth. Super 27 is gearing up. Here comes Super 27 with her strong move to the outside, but she still is eight lengths from Tracy's girl. Tracy's girl trying to post the big upset. Empire Trolley trying to become the first three-time winner of the season commences her bid up the rail. And Super 27 continues to improve her position to the far outside. Here comes Super 27 trying to come and get Empire Trolley and Tracy's girl. Empire Trolley airs Super 27 from last to first. Super 27 in the opener. From Empire Trolley, Stay Home Mama, and La Cafetera fourth. Perfect to wagering, scratches inside and outside. One and six, Quiet Horizon, a wish for Trish. Overweights for the following, three and four, one pound over five, strong alpha. Ready for the Phillies. And there they go. Strong alpha bounds away from the far outside, and she quickly slaps three lengths on the other three Phillies. Miss Pabs into second, then Purple Melinda, and Pretty Doctor is at the back. So it is Strong Alpha, the expected pacemaker. Two links to Miss Pab taking over second. Purple Melinda's third. And Pretty Doctor tries to re-rally from the outside. She's five links behind Strong Alpha. Strong Alpha heads into the turn with a length and a half lead to Miss Pab, who gets a little closer. More than three links to Pretty Doctor. It's another three and a half to Purple Melinda. 22 and four fifth. Strong Alpha still with the lead. Miss Pab cruises up to her outside. Strong Alpha and Miss Pab one, two. Six lengths, Pretty Doctor. At the back, Purple Melinda. Strong Alpha, the leader at the 3 16th. Miss Pab has more than a length to make up. Strong Alpha still with the lead. Miss Pab trying to draw on level terms. Here's Miss Pab to the outside. Miss Pab on by Strong Alpha. And Miss Pab is rolling this afternoon. Look at her strength in her stride and deep stretch. Much better victory than her maiden score. Miss Pab, a three-year-old dark bear bro. And there they go. And Ringgood is out for the lead, and he will control a soft pace. Royal Suspects up close. Anything possible is on hold with this cat can fly. So they will crawl through the initial stages. And on the front end, it is Ringgood. To the far outside is Royal Suspect. Anything possible comes away running in third, two and a half off the pace. And a length and a half back to this cat can fly as they race to the backstretch run. 25 and one fifth. Ring good. Luis Perez on the lead. To the outside, Royal Suspect with John Berrios. Anything possible at Nazario Alvarado. Or four lengths off the lead at the 5 eighths. And at the back is this cat can fly with John DeVilla Jr. So Ring good has the lead. Token pre pace pressure. Token pace pressure from Royal Suspect. Three lengths, anything possible. Length in the tail, back to this cat can fly. 49 and four fifths the half. They sped it up a bit. And there goes Royal Suspect, putting his head in front at the three eighths from Ringgood. Anything possible is trying to lengthen his stride. And he's closing in. Royal Suspect gets first jump. This cat can fly is seven lengths off the lead. Royal Suspect, ready to get a big time challenge from anything possible and this cat can fly. Royal Suspect, here's anything possible trying to come and get him to the outside. 
Anything possible just loves to win races, and now he gets first run on this cat can fly. Anything possible's up to the front. Royal Suspect tries to fight on from the inside. This cat can fly, not kicking it in. Anything possible, and Royal Suspect, anything possible, anything possible. Oh. A 4 $1 double, $15.40, a 1 4 exact at $12.40. Fourth race begins. And there they go. Coffee Future shows speed from the inside. Sniff wants to go. So too does my girl Annie. Kateri Empire from the top shelf. It's Coffee Futures with the lead. The last two are Colescent and Magnificent Mags. Coffee Futures, Kateri Empire there, one, two. My girl Annie third. Sniff's all covered up from the rail. Three off the lead. Three lengths, Colescent. And to her outside, Magnificent Mags. Coffee Futures and Kateri Empire. My Girl Annie stalking from third. Sniff has lost several lengths. Sniff's back to fifth, now being headed by Colescent. Magnificent Mags is the last of all. Coffee Futures and Kateri Empire, they remain one, two. Better than three and a half to My Girl Annie, who's biding her time. She's going to have to go eventually. Colescent's trying to close in from the outside. Sniff really never kicked it into this point. At the back, there is Magnificent Mags. They're in the lane. Final 316. Kateri Empire and Coffee Futures. Here comes My Girl Annie now gearing up three deep. And My Girl Annie's up to the front and Colescent's closing to the far outside. But My Girl Annie's all racehorse. Colescent out of conditions. Running a brave one. My Girl Annie and Colescent. They hit the wire together. My. 414 pick three. $31.37. Early pick four, one with four, with one five, with four, $187. They're at the post. And there they go. And letter carrier Henry's out for the lead with Disco Dino. Disco Dino's just a little quicker. A Caltech comes away running in third, then Macho Boy. And first deputy is the distant trailer. And he's guided to the far outside. And Disco Dino has abandoned the rail. And here's Macho Boy assuming the rail. And trying to pick it up. Letter Carrier Henry chases them from third. A Caltech has the fourth spot. And first deputy is the last of the quintet. So a little bit of tactics here in the fifth race. As Kevin Navarro abandoned the rail. And John DeVilla Jr. said, I'll take it up with Macho Boy. Macho Boy and Disco Dito. And they separate themselves. Six lengths, Letter Carrier Henry. And we're going to first deputy into Caltech. And there's Disco Dino off the turn. And look at the big boy. Disco Dino approaching the eighth pole with the lead. From the inside is Macho Boy, then Letter Carrier Henry, and first deputy Disco Dino at the 16th. Macho Boy fighting all the way to the wire, but Disco Dino's a little bit better, and two to one is quite generous in my opinion. Disco Dino, another one for Kevin Navarro. The Super Vecta, $4.40. And the pick three, one, four, two, $45.62. And there they go, awkward star Joe Gonzalez. Hurricane Alpha's out for the lead, but here's Infeasible right there amongst the pace. CB loves the fight, also attends the leader line. Mercedes Joe comes away in fourth. Joe Gonzalez a little awkwardly away, and towards the tail is my inspiration. Hurricane Alpha makes the pace from the big favorite Infeasible. CB loves the fight is right there pressing three deep. Joe Gonzalez is four lengths off the lead from the inside. Better than five to Mercedes Joe. Another four to my inspiration. 23 and four fifths. Pretty good tempo for the level from Hurricane Alpha. Length and a half to Infeasible and CB loves the fight. Joe Gonzalez, four lengths off the lead. Still about five Mercedes Joe. Three lengths, my inspiration. Up the Finger Lakes backstretch. With the front end, Hurricane Alpha. CB loves the fight, gets a little closer. Infeasible is third, but he is really struggling. The big favorite's being pushed on, not responding. Joe Gonzalez moves into third. What's going on with the favorite at two to five? Come on, man, he's backpedaling. Now we're gonna Mercedes Joe and my inspiration. So Hurricane Alpha's trying to post this big upset and he has a big lead. Nobody has stepped up to him. Now Joe Gonzalez is into second. CB loves the fight is third. And in fourth races, Mercedes Joe. So it's Hurricane Alpha with the lead. Joe Gonzalez comes a calling. Now he's under left handed urging. But Hurricane Alpha is opened up. Hurricane Alpha with a big lead past the eighth pole. 
He's 30 to 1. Hurricane Alpha all the way on the front end. Who's going to check in second? Look at my inspiration really pick it up. Where was that in the early stages? Joe Gonzalez hangs on for second. It's official. A 2-1 double, $207.50. A 1-2 exact, a $472.50. For the Phillies and Mares. And there they go. Toscanova Beauties quickly away covering Sabrine. Pendolino flashes foot from the inside. Stimulus check broke alertly, and she's in a good position through the early stages, firing into second. Daredevil Bull from the extreme outside is forwardly positioned. Then Sweet Larissa and long shot, a dab will do. Pendolino's the quickest. Stimulus checks all over her. Toscanova Beauties pressing three wide. Daredevil Bulls in La La Land. She's the deepest of all past the 3-8. Sabrine tries to commence a bit up the inside. And she's five lengths from Pendolino. Pendolino with the lead. Stimulus check still following. Here comes Sabrine. Sabrine is showing plenty of promise in the two path. And Sabrine's going to turn up the pressure on Pendolino. Pendolino. Sabrine. Stimulus checks under pressure. Toscanova Beauty from the outside. And here's Sabrine up to the front. Sabrine finds the front at the 16th. She tries to put away Pendolino. It was very game this afternoon. Sabrine for two in a row. Doubles for Luis Perez and Jim Aquilano. Pendolino out. And race seven is official. The double, $1,002. A 5 one and there they go. Flurry of Roses broke very alertly, but here's Winter Siren picking it up inside a Flirtatious Kiss. Winter Siren and Flirtatious Kiss, they're going to go at it with one another. Here's Soaring Mist into third. Soaring Mist is two and a half off the pace. They're going to Flurry of Roses. Farther back, kill away in Rose. The last two are Jackie's a Fox. And Torrance tails the trailer. Winter Siren has the lead from Flirtatious Kiss. The other Ralphie D trainees in a good spot. That's Soaring Mist from the rail. Flurry of Roses is five lengths from the two leader. She's trying to commence a bid. They're going to kill away in Rose. And farther back, Jackie's a Fox and Torrin's Tail. And Winter Siren has been softened up by Flirtatious Kiss. Flurry of Roses is going to try to make an impact in deep stretch. She's closing to the outside. In the meantime, Winter Siren tries to get away from Flirtatious Kiss. Winter Siren and Flirtatious Kiss. Flurry of Roses guided to the inside. It's Winter Siren with the lead in deep stretch. Flurry of Roses up the inside. Winter Siren in the nightcap. Flurry of Roses, good effort in defeat. Then Flirtatious Kiss and Soaring Miss checked in fourth for the Super. All right, that 155 late pick three, thanks to Hurricane Alpha, $431.75. Look how big the pick four is. The late pick four, $3,738. Two with one with five with 254. Our jackpot pick six for five out of six, $150.90. And there are the carryovers, the pick five, a little shy of 16 k but we're guaranteeing 50000 in the pool Monday. And our thumbs up jackpot pick six, that carryover, $8,541.76. $8,541.76 for the pick six. So two nice carryovers for the Monday program. Simulcast wagering tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll do it all over again Monday, 110, first post. Sure hope you had a great Wednesday. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack. Good night, everyone.